Welcome to episode 210 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host. I got out of the office for a minute, or maybe I got into the new office. Today, we are revisiting a podcast I did two years ago called The Transaction of Growth. (laughs) (laughs) Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. All right, two years ago, I recorded a podcast from this exact spot. Let's show you what that looked like. Okay. It looks a little different now if you haven't noticed, but back then I had just gotten into this building. My wife and I just bought it and we were really excited because we had all these plans to renovate it, to turn it into the new studios for my agent congruent agency congruent to actually have studios in the back that we could rent out and use. And then guess what happened? Slow down, COVID financing falling through and it was actually over a two year journey to get to this point right now. And as you can look behind me, right, you can see that it's been fully renovated. It's a beautiful space. And we did a quick walkthrough that we can show you here. Um, It's a fast walkthrough, but there's space for the agency up front. There's great cafe in the back. There are two like high level production studios. We're going to have one of the largest cycloramas in New York outside of New York city. So we really, the team just got it done. Our construction team got it done. Our design team got it done. But what I talked about in this building, two years ago is something called the transaction of growth. It's really become a mantra of mine in life. And the premise is this growth costs something. Everybody says they want to grow, but not everybody is willing to do the work it takes to get there. Because oftentimes when you're in the middle of the work, you want to quit. You want to give up. You lose the vision for what it is that you set out to do. And it is never as easy as you think it is. And here we can go this way a little bit. And so it's never as easy as you think it is because the unexpected happens. The unexpected happens, people get sick, people lose money, they lose jobs, um, whatever, you get injured, right? You have all these plans to get in shape and then you have a knee injury or something like that. And so I thought it'd be great to share this real world example of the transaction of growth in my life. This thing isn't open yet, we're about to get our certificate of occupancy and about to start, but it's been over two years. It was supposed to be seven months from when that last video the one that we just showed, it was supposed to be this condition in seven months. And here we are over two years later and we're still not open, but we're about to open. And so I want you to think about the things in your life right now that you say you want to do. The aspirations that you have, I have a lot of aspirations right now myself, just launched a new company called Automotive State of the Union. That is something that I've been doing for a year and a half. We just turned it in to a formal company and I have all these plans and aspirations and and these, you know, I think it's just gonna be a rocket ship and it's gonna go and it's gonna do that thing. Mark my words, that's probably not gonna happen. What's probably gonna happen is things that we don't know right now. What's probably going to happen are that we're going to run into setbacks and roadblocks and surprises and disappointments and all of these things are going to happen. But what are we going to decide to do? Are you going to say, well, I guess it's not going to work. Or are we going to be like, okay, I guess we have to lean in. Okay, I guess we have to come up with another plan. And it all hinges, the transaction of growth, knowing that if you want to grow and if you say you want to grow, knowing that it's going to come from bumps and bruises and falling off the bike and getting back up and doing it again. If you go in knowing that, then guess what? You don't have to be surprised when it happens because 99% of what matters for the people that actually get to grow and get through is right here in your mind, is right here in your heart. It's your attitude. It's how you approach the things when they happen because nobody, nobody, not you, not me, not anybody else we know can grow without going through pain. Nobody, nobody can grow without going through trial, struggle, disappointments, failures. It's going to happen. And so how you think about it, how you feel about it, and how you choose to behave about it is what matters. We can't control what happens to us. We can only control how we respond to it. So I thought it would be fun to bring this back from over two years ago and say, real world, right? Not somebody else's life, my life. This growth cost something. And I'm not even sure it's going to work yet, right? We need people to rent the studios. We need the agency to be able to pay for the lease. I'm not sure it's going to what's going to happen still, but I'm okay with that because that is the life of someone who's committed to growth. You have to get more and more comfortable with the fact that it's probably not going to work out like you thought. And the real question is, what are you going to do when that happens? I had um, one of my lifelong heroes, Jocko Willink on uh, several weeks ago. You should check that episode out. It's great because anything Jocko does is worth listening to. 
And he talks so much about it being on you, about when something bad happens, you know, he says, he reacts in his mind, he says, good. Something bad happens, he says, good. And then he reframes the, the transaction of growth. He reframes it into, what is it that I can do to be better now because of the situation I'm in? Something doesn't go as planned, good. Now I have the opportunity to be a better leader in struggle. Good, now I have the opportunity to learn a little bit more about what went wrong so it doesn't happen again when it means even more. So in this next week, I hope we can both keep walking through this together, remembering that growth is a transaction and all the things that we say we wanna do are actually tempered a little bit with the understanding that it's not gonna be easy. And hopefully through that, we can serve a bunch of people around us and move everyone forward. I will see you next week. We came to